Welcome back guys. Guess what we got this time? Another friggin car to work on. And this one uh, is going to be for you Suzuki Forenza lovers out there. Or maybe haters. Whichever the case might go. Have you ever drove your car and then you found out that the transmission doesn't seem to be uh, pulling off good? Seems like your car doesn't have any power. Or let's say you put it in reverse or drive and you get a big clunking sound. Well, I think we've got something here that might show you that will help you out in this video. Now, this car has a real big problem with the transmission range sensor. Now, let me just show you where this is at. You come down here, and look right down here, and let me pull this here lower radiator hose off to the side. This here black assembly that you see right here is a transmission range uh, sensor. Now here's the wires over here. Should be about nine wires in here. You can see that this is the linkage here that goes back to the transmission uh, gear shift selector. In other words, if you put it in PRND 3201, then this here is going to be moving back and forth. That will make up some switches inside here. And inside this here transmission range sensor, it sends back four data lines back to the TCM, Transmission Control Module. Now we're going to get into this a little bit deeper, and we're going to go look over the electrical wiring diagrams, and uh, we're going to diagnose this a little bit. Right now, uh, my uh, check engine light is off, so it's doing okay right now. You know, with me, most of the time I get things that are always in a minute, but I figured uh, it'd be a good uh, chance to show you guys how to troubleshoot. So we're gonna do, uh, it's like a few videos here, but I just want to point this out to you and show you where this is at. Also, by the way, this also has the, uh, has the reverse backup lights. The switch is built in here for that also. And it also has the park neutral position switch built in here, so it only allows the car to start in park or neutral. So this here, this here little uh, assembly right here has quite a few switch contacts in here. So the ones that we're going to be looking at is for the four switches that goes uh, send signals back to the data uh, data lines back to the TCM. Okay, for, let's go ahead and get you a shot and so you can see the code on here. And then uh, after we do that, then uh, we'll probably close this video out and we'll start on it and get into the diagnostics as far as uh, electrical troubleshooting on it. Okay, so next shot. Let's go look at the uh, scanner and see what we got. All right, guys, let's take a look at the code here to see what we're going to get. Uh, I've already looked at this before, but I want to show you guys what it's going to be. Okay. Yeah, take a few seconds here for it to retrieve the code, all codes. Alright, as you can see, this is a P0705 transmission rain sensor circuit malfunction. Basically, this is a this is a switch assembly uh, that's mounted out there on the transmission as I showed you earlier. And what it does is it's looking for the positions of the um, of the gear selector shift uh, so P R N D three two one so with any one of those positions this here rain sensor is going to be looking at that this rain sensor switch okay now this here code will set immediately okay if it sees that uh, the data lines these here four data lines that it's looking at. Now we're going to go into the looking at the uh, wiring diagram on this to see how this thing works. But uh, before we get into that in the next videos, right now I just want to say that this switch is a really big problem on these here rain, uh, Suzuki Forenzas and other makes there. Uh, so I figured this would be a good video for you guys to see uh, you know, about how this thing works, how to troubleshoot it, and this here, I just want to start you off here and just taking a look at this code so we can see where, where we got to go with it. Now, what happens is that when this thing gets this code, the uh, as I mentioned, it will automatically set the code and it will bring on the check engine light. You don't have to go through two or three drive cycles for this thing to set. Then what will happen is the transmission will go into a limp mode. Basically, that's where the... Uh, it's going to default to a, another program, ignoring some of the sensors out there that the TCM, 
that's the transmission control module is going to ignore so it's going to be running on a default program pretty much what's happening is that your car will start off in fourth gear and trust me you will know that when uh, this condition happens your transmission is going to be really sluggish the car is not going to have any power some other symptoms that you might have that if you go into say reverse or into drive you may experience a clunking sound reason for that is the line pressure is being driven up high also so anyway i just want to show you guys this here and then in uh videos that's coming up we're going to start doing a little diagnosis i've already got a rain sensor switch it's not that expensive it's only about 30 bucks so it's more than likely that's the problem but for, instead of us just changing it out which we will show that procedure too in the last video we're going to also we're going to take a look at some of this stuff like i mentioned about how this thing works and troubleshooting and diagnosing and all that good stuff. So I appreciate you guys watching and stay tuned. And but while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and just clear this code right on out. So I'm going to come over here to the right and then press clear. And it says, hey, do you want to take it all out? Yes, let's do it. So now I'm going to just say all. And like I said, right now, I do, it does not have a problem. This, this is an uh, intermittent condition. And um, I don't want to get too much into this one because I just, as far as in telling you what it takes to set, how many, uh, how many ignition cycles off and on. But we're, look, we're looking at all that later on. But right now we're clear. So I'm just going to go ahead. We'll come on out of this right now. So y'all guys stay tuned and we'll, we'll get into some diagrams here next.